Hey everyone, today I'm going to show you how to rewire Ableton and Sibelius. So let's get started. So uh, once you get Ableton open, um, your first thing you're going to want to do is give a command T uh, to open up a new audio track. Um, and then you're going to go up to where it says external in, this is your input and you're going to go down to Sibelius. If you have a Sibelius installed and rewire is enabled in Sibelius, which you have to go in and, you know, go check your preferences in Sibelius, but typically it is, um, it will be right there ready for you. And then from there, um, we're just going to open up Sibelius. All right. Now that we have Sibelius open, uh, the first thing you want to look at up here is the transport controls. And this little icon that I'm hovering over, that is the rewire icon, which means rewire is enabled. Um, so now if you were to select this first bar and hit play, you see it moving and then you go into Ableton and it is moving. You stop it here, it stops here. Um, so I've, I've got this set at 120 BPM and also this set at 120 BPM. Um, as long as you keep the uh, everything the same, then it will you, you will you will be able to you know create markers in here and line up everything that's in this score um, to this concert or uh, set. Sorry. Um, so let's go ahead and put some notes in. Let's just do this. So you'll notice no sound is playing when I enter these notes. Um, and that is because if you go over into Ableton, this track is not enabled. Let me rename this. Um, so you can either record, an, uh, record arm and hit auto, and that will play back. So now you hear sound or you can just do monitor in, which is typically what I choose. Um, so now when you play this back, now there is a slight delay and you heard how it kind of hiccuped at the beginning. There's a slight delay um, in Ableton. Ableton will play back fine. Sibelius, for some reason, the first like eighth note uh, or even 16th note gets cut off. Um, so you can just add in some bars at the beginning when you're, you know, working and then take them out when you're done. Um, or you can just deal with it and, you know, know that that's the issue. Um, that's pretty much it. Um, just to prove that it's linked up, I'm going to do a couple more bars here. And then I've got the click turned on so you can see that it's synced up. Yeah, so um, yeah, uh, Sibelius was a little glitchy. I think it's just warming up. So um, that's pretty much it. I uh, hope that you learned something and I hope this is useful for you in the future. Uh, this is actually how I work all the time. Uh, please subscribe to our channel. If you have any questions, you can email us at info at 4over3.me. And uh, you know, check out our website, 4over3.me. And uh, subscribe to our email list uh, so that we can contact you when we have sales or updates or new content available. All right. Have a good day, and I'll see you in the next video.